Alright guys, welcome to is it part four oh. of reading my parents change. Right, I thought I think there is some pennies in here as well. I thought it was all a mixture but it's not. It's mostly two pences. Whoa, look how shiny that one is. That's 2,000, putting that to the side. That can be a replacer maybe. So I'm just going to gently try not to make crazy noise. Okay, there is a couple of pennies in here. Um, and we'll see what we can find if there's anything in here. That shouldn't be from my dad's change that he's been collecting. There's a 2007, there's some really shiny ones in here. There's another one, another 2007. But he's got some super shiny ones, don't know how long he's been collecting for. There's a new pen, what year is that? 1977, don't know if I need that one or not. Uh, yeah, there's some one pences in here as well. But yeah, so he, what, he's been collecting for a while. Just like anything that's in his chains really, he's been dumping into a box. And then saw them today. And he asked me if I could take them down to the bank for him. And I said, yeah. As long as I can do a quick search video. And if there's anything in there. I want it. There's a nice 2003 there. I want it. I want whatever I can find. And he agreed. And here we are. So we got some nice finds. Like we did the 5p and we got some dimes. And two of them went into the book. But I wonder if we get anything out of these two peas because it feels like there's at least there's not quite 20 pounds I don't think but it must be a good 15 pounds and normally we do get some good stuff when we do well we tend to sometimes get some good stuff when we look through bags, so hopefully we'll get something there. That's a lovely 2014. It's funny, you see the shiny ones and they just like, ooh. So yeah, flip the coins. Because you want to flip them to see if there's like any Isle of Man's or anything like that there. There is some pennies in here as well. What year is that? That's 2008. It's a nice looking one. Okay, so you want to flip them because obviously the Queen is on a lot of the um, territory. Well, she's on all the territories, isn't she? And it's obviously if she's on one side you're going to easily miss if you don't flip them something of interest now I did have someone recently tell me that two pence hunting is a waste of time it's not if you're collecting the territory one and you're doing a date run or whatever So I thought that was a good comment to be honest that they think it's a waste of time but obviously there's other people out there that enjoy doing them or enjoy watching them so I keep going what we'll use that so at the end of this video we're gonna check that is a nice 97 that's going over there. We're going to check the book 
to see if we got it. Sorry about that guys, my battery on my camera died. So yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna look at the end because I've got a nice shiny penny and we've got some nice looking um, old uh, two pences. I wanna check. I wanna do an experiment in a future 2P coin hunt about which ones are up to which year it's magnetic. And what I'm going to do is hopefully separate all the magnetic ones from the copper ones. And we're going to start looking just for the 83. I know it's going to be a massive long shot. But I'm thinking let's go for it. And same with the um, 20 P's we're going to do different styles so what we're going to do is we're going to go through them like we normally do and we're going to put all the shield ones separate so we're going to go through and look for any um, trees or anything like that that's got in there and then we're going to do a separate video for the undated 20p as well so that's coming up that's a nice one what year 2008 i know i needed a 2008 i couldn't remember which one and i think i'm not sure if we have replaced it already so far in this batch, we've not got any finds from this bag. No territories or anything. I'll make sure I'm in the right position so you guys can see. Let's grab that. So yeah, we're going to like do some changes when it comes to the 20p hunt. That'll be like with just the regular going through and then we're gonna do a focused um, video on just looking for the undated videos as um, undated videos undated coins which if you guys hopefully enjoy it we we'll carry on doing it Ooh, look at that one. That's 2005. I'm just getting handsies at the moment. Nice 2012. It looks like... Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice 15. He's probably had that since 2015, knowing him. Yeah, we've not had any Island Man or anything. Come on, two peas. Be as cool as the penny. So yeah, like with the two P hunts, we're gonna start looking more for the E3. I know that's gonna be the massive long shot, but we are gonna start doing something to separate them out. And the 81 looks almost, that's a nice shiny one, still dirty though. Um, yeah, we're going to work out how to separate them. Maybe I get like a super strong magnet. And then we'll do it that way. Actually, I need to get a magnet because there is actually something else we want to add to the channel in the spring. 
and we're going to mix it up a bit when it comes to the content. So I'm not saying anything yet. But it should be fun. So far there have been no lines in the two peas. I think the two peas are going to let us down. Except for the nice shiny ones obviously. Nope. So yeah, we're going to do a bit of a change up with some of the stuff that we do. It's all going to be good. Going to have more coin searches. Well, a lot more coin searches. Um, more note searches. Um, we're gonna have maybe go outside somewhere. Right, last batch. That's it. And then we're gonna get the book out. So now none of them. I don't think any of them euros. We need to go in. But we will check the others. Once we, I was going to pull these in the bag first, but I do it off the camera. So no, nothing from the piece, but let's just, the book is right here next to me. The first thing we're going to do is without hitting the camera, there we go. Where's that penny? Now which year was it again? 93. So, 1993, I need to pull it out, and I need to move the phone so I can see what I'm doing. So what have we got here, there's 97, 6, 5, 4, 3, hmm, nah, they're about the same. Okay, let's check the two piece. So first we're going to check the 77, which I think we actually got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. So the 77 can go back there. Now, we've got this one. That's a nice 97. So we're still in the 80s here. Let's throw that there. 97. So there's 99, 96, 90, definitely swapping that 97. So that's the original, right there. And that's the, it looks shinier than it is the original one. So yeah, that one's almost new. So let's just pop it out. And pop. Double check it is a 97 we pulled out, yep. And we're going to replace that 97 with this almost new 97. There we go. Now what's the other ones? So which one is this? This is the 2000 and... Mm, 2006. So 8. 8. Uh, we don't need to replace that. It's a 2000 that, yep. Looking at that one, and looking at this one, I think the old man probably kept that since 2000. So I'm going to pop the old one out. And this is also fun, like, once you've got the day run, then you can, like, start swapping them around. I can't get it out, because it's in the middle. Do I have something I can fuck it with? I do. I have a Metro Bank pen. So let me double check. What am I looking for? 2000, which is there. And I'm going to pop that out. There we go. Now this one's actually still pretty good. But. That's the original, 
it's very nice still but then the one that's replacing it is just a lot more shiny and I like shinier coins and this one is a mode 3 and we're changing that as well so eventually we can start replacing all of them. So that's the original drab, and that's the one we're replacing it with. It's got a bit of a black blodge there. What is that? Don't know what that is, but still, it's the coin's history, and there we go. So, guys, we've replaced some coins with the shinier ones, and I can't get that in. There we go. So if you've made it this far, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you. Oh, that does make a difference. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos as I kick the tripod. And I will see you in the next one. So take care, guys. And happy coin hunting. Goodbye.